what's up guys we are back at it with another video here trying out the uh you could call this one the bigger lipped crankbait um i did try this one out on a, another fishing trip uh but uh i was switching baits and trying all different sorts of stuff so didn't really get a full video so we're gonna go try it out today and get this thing in the water i got three of them i will be trying out see how see how they swim check out their action and uh yeah just kind of review them let you know if, if i think it's uh worth printing off or not on the instructions for these lures it did say it probably would require some tuning all right so it's swimming to swimming to the right swimming that way so i need to bend it a bit a bit left so all right let's let's test that out now stay down a little bit better let's tweak it again the print time on these ones was pretty much right at four hours so it's a little bit takes a little bit to print these ones off um, I am printing them at uh, it's 50 uh, 50 I don't know what the standard is what is that I guess I should know that I'll put that up on the screen it's kind of on the that would be on the slower end um, with the you know a little bit more expensive machine you could probably almost double that to go at a hundred so if you have a little bit better uh, faster 3d printer it would uh, take you, should take you technically uh, half the time to print it. Let's see. So, yeah, this thing, it is, it is quite touchy. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's, dude, that's the sweet spot right there. That is about the straightest. I think you're gonna get it. Wow, I can feel the vibration in the lure. It's diving down. I think I just got a weed. Let's try that again. Yeah, I like that. Um, when I was making it, um, you know, they'll use like ball bearings and BBs and stuff. Uh, I just had uh, sinkers laying around, so just threw a couple sinkers in there for weight, and that worked. Uh, that worked pretty good. This thing is. Swimming a little off, but I think about the best I'm going to get it. It's staying down, so I'm I'm quite happy, quite happy with that. While I'm tying this on, I'll tell you guys that uh, I am doing a giveaway on this uh, one of these lures, and in order to be entered, all you have to do is comment in the comment section um, of what kind of uh, fishing lure you want me to make next so just leave a comment below and uh, also you have to sign up for my first fishing friday newsletter that is in the uh, comments or the description below you just gotta sign up for that take you five seconds and then the next video i will announce the winner of one of these one of these lures i'll send that off to you this one definitely surfaces <laughs> It's trying to dive down. All right, let's take a look at that uh, that wire. Let's uh, I'm gonna bend it a little right. The uh, designer of this lure was saying about oh, just popped up. To I was using epoxy. He was saying to use uh, super glue, which will give you that uh, instant bond, you know, to the plastic. Um, versus uh, me using the epoxy where you have to use the clamps you know to let it dry you know so that kind of um, I that definitely would simplify the process where you just you know you put some super glue on it and uh, you know you press it together and you should get that instant bond you know so you're not putting the clamps on it you know and then you know on the one lure I actually screwed up the, the front of it because the how many clamps I needed on it were uh, damaging the uh, the actual plastic. It's going right. Okay. All right. Try that. Uh, staying down. Ooh, wow. 
man that just it has such a good pull too like you know that thing is just diving down this one uh it's swimming pretty good now so uh, i guess i would have to say you know the biggest thing for these lures is just trying to figure out you know uh getting it tuned you know correctly and i think you know depending on what wire you use i think everybody's going to have kind of you could say unique results you know with the with the action of the lure which is uh, it's kind of cool i guess because that's you know that's something you can uh you can customize you know to your liking really And I guess you know that's what's uh, that's what fishing's all about is you know making you know making the small adjustments and tweaks you know to get you know what the fish want or you know to try different things to figure out what the fish wants. These uh, these do these should rattle. They have the uh, the chamber with the weights in them, so it should be throwing off some sound down there. Let's check it out. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. So actually these are these would be perfect in here really for the for the conditions I'm fishing you know you're definitely going to want that sound with this with uh with just how stained this water is now it's spinning in a circle okay at least that makes sense it was tangled on the hook <laughs> I'm like come on really and this still blows me away I'm probably going to say this in every video cuz it just it really does blow me away that you can, uh, you know, you can print these. You can print these in your own house. Like that's just crazy. I mean, look at that. In your own house, you can print these off, and you can have a fishable lure. You know, that that's just nuts. Right. Well, I'd have to say this one's tuned. We will switch over to the last one. I believe the other two were uh, swimming to the right. So let's see. Uh, See if we got the same pattern here. Holy crap, I didn't even tune this one. That thing is swimming. Oh, oh, there it goes. Actually, this one's swimming to the left. <laughs> so yeah, no uh no pattern here. Man, love that paint job too. That thing is sick. Love that. Once I get that into the light, man, oh man. Alright, hopefully we can get this one uh tuned here. Alright, this one, uh, this one's seeming to be the, uh, odd one out here. I just, I can't seem to tune this one. Does not want to stay down. Oh, there goes a squirrel. It's, it's got a nut. Black walnut, I'm guessing. I bent it so it's longer, so now it's pushing the uh, split ring a little bit farther out on the bill. Let's, let's try that. Oh, thought I figured it out. All right, guys, so my uh, final review of these uh, bigger lipped crankbaits is, uh, you know, once you get them tuned, they are pretty sweet. You know, they dive down, they got the vibration, and I think, you know, if this, if this water wasn't like chocolate milk, I would have had a little bit better luck today, but uh, they do take some tuning, um, the biggest recommendation I can think of is a thicker wire too because if you're going to be twisting that back and forth up and down to get this finely tuned you're gonna want that thicker wire so you don't snap it off on a fish or you just don't snap it off you know while you're adjusting it um, this one gave me the most problems I don't know what's going on I cannot tune this one if you guys have any ideas any suggestions please let me know and uh, I could update you on a future video but uh yeah very happy with these uh they're you know fun to fish with i think these would be um you know definitely something uh worth printing these probably would be a little bit harder to cast on shore because they do dive down um the uh designer said six to eight feet which that's about what i experienced once they are tuned they definitely shoot right down there um didn't hit the bottom so it must be a little bit deeper here but i think these would be quite effective you know bouncing these off the bottom or some rock or something to uh to find some fish all right guys and real quick before you take off again uh if you do leave a comment in the comment section 
of what 3D printed lure you want me to do next. I will be picking one winner from the comment section to win one of these lures. I won't, I won't ship this one out unless you want it, but this one's not tuned. I'll give you one of the other ones. Uh, just give me any ideas, any suggestions of what you would want me to test and review next. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, try to make it happen on the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please like it. And uh, see you guys next time.